on a scale of one to ten, uh huh. How romantic would you want your girl to be around you? Like a six point five to a seven point five in how romantic she is. Like I, I do like those special stuff, like out of the blue type shit. Yeah. It's like, oh shit, like you really thinking of me, like Is it a red flag when you treat a girl good for her first time? You start opening the door, for example, for her. And she says something like, oh, wow, no one's ever ho- held the door for me before. You know? Why has no one ever held the door for you? <laughs> Been saving it, you know, only for special moments. Damn. This is a special moment for in celebration. Of- what do you do if your partner starts losing the their attractiveness? <laughs> what, what would you do if they just start declining in their attractiveness? You got to dig deep. And know that they're a great person at heart. (laughs) (laughs) We party in a visa. She my soldiers like a sneaker. You know just what I mean. You know just what I mean. I love my What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the podcast where you get to tune in and get a glimpse of the guys. My name is Luciano. Oh, Yeti. And we are GG Podcast, bringing you a Wine Talk Wednesday. Oh, sorry, Lucky. <laughs> I scared him. My bad, boy. <laughs> God, dude. He's like, oh, my God. <laughs> and he's like, another Wine Talks? Really? <laughs> <laughs> well shit now you know and you all do too so go like comment share and subscribe yes sir because what episode are we at right now we're on uh, episode 48 now mm-hmm. two more two more two more episodes till that big fitty what are we gonna do for that dun-na, dun-na, dun-na. what are you gonna do for that i don't know oh maybe give out 50 cents Ooh! While playing Fifty Cent music, Ooh. yeah, I'm That's sure everybody dope. would love that, right? We should give it to the homeless people. Be like, for our fiftieth episode, we're gonna give you fifty cents today. Yeah, to every person we see, fifty cents, fifty cents. That's not bad. It's not bad. Yeah, they can't you, complain. You give out, you give out what you could give. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Can't yeah. complain. Can't complain. But we're also yeah. Let them know what are we doing. We're also doing. An event hosted by the Table and Gallery, mm-hmm. and it's sponsored by the Wine Cellar Group. Yes. And uh, we'll be there, you know, also co-hosting everything at the wine event on the 19th and the 26th. Make sure to go check that out. The address is in the flyer. I think you know the address, don't you? Yeah, it's uh, 1209 Chapel Street, New Haven, Connecticut. At what time? 5 to 7. Five to seven. Wow, that's a pretty good time. You guys should do and come out. Yeah. That's all you guys should do. Just come out, support the boys. It's twenty dollars at front door, or later on we'll get a link for you guys to buy tickets online. Yep. So uh, yeah, make sure to support us. We appreciate you guys. And those that aren't subscribed, please subscribe. Please. We appreciate it. Please. We really do. Every subscriber helps. It'd be huge. All right, let's get into this wine <laughs> review. <laughs> we appreciate it. Come on, man. Let's do this. So I have a red wine today with a cork, and you also have a red wine with a cork. Yes, sir. We're on the red wine vibes today, Lucky. What do you want, 40 seconds? Um, Yeah, sounds good. And remember, well, you gotta, um... remember, this is a competition, and we also describe the wine with second sip thoughts. Um, competition that we do, get it in 40 seconds with a cork. We have to describe the name, the aqua percentage, a little description of the wine, where it's from, and a rating. Mm-hmm. And if you don't do all five in the 40 seconds, you have to drink shots! Shots, 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 shots. All right, everybody, let's get to it. <laughs> let's do this. Let's do this. Let's fucking do it. Three, two, one, go. Okay, so we have Fit Vine. Mm, she fit. And it is <sighs> the alcohol percentage. It's a Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, it is from California. The alcohol percentage is 14.1%. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
How it tastes. It tastes like um, it has no sugars, uh, not that flavorful, a little bittery. Goes down. It's all right. Uh, it's a sock. Ah! <laughs> Come on. Uh, no. No. I thought you had it. I thought you had it. I'm not going to lie. I wasn't going to give a bullshit score, you know? I, I was going to say seven, and I was going to switch it to six. Yeah. And I was already like, damn. I should have just said seven, one. I heard my heart pounding a little bit. <laughs> got, me, got my heart racing a little bit. Dude, the look at where the percentage is. Like, re, like right there. Ah, oh, they fucked with you. Damn. Fucked with you. So, here are my second sip thoughts here. Yeah. Um. So, this, this uh, fifth vine is essentially for... Um, people that live a healthy lifestyle, uh, mostly, I guess, for athletes as well. It's a uh, low on sugar, from what it said. Um, you can definitely taste the difference in like how sugar affects this wine, or like how like flavorful it will be, because uh, it's a little light as well. Like definitely. A mid body maybe, or what is the other one? The high bot in the um, mid body, low body, full body. Definitely a full body. This one actually, I was gonna say mid, but it's full body. And the rating, I would probably do. It's good. It's healthy for you. It's got some taste. I think I'm gonna rate this six point one. Six point one. Because I like I like the uh the essence of this wine of like what it's trying to do, you know. It's telling you like, hey, listen, this is for people that are fit. You know, if you wanna stay with rich flavor, low residual sugar, won't hold you back if you're looking for a wine that that champions the way you want to live your lifestyle. So it's not bad. I like the uh message behind it, you know. Yeah. So that's really helping that score a bit but uh definitely recommend it to people that um like um not as a uh, flavorful wines and that like the uh that uh finish like the long aftertaste of that wine as well so i don't know if i would like it. i don't think um, i've ever tried that actually and a pairing with this i would pair it with fruit to make it uh okay yeah, that makes sense to make it more of a bold flavor like in your mouth yeah get your source of sugars from natural fruits. natural fruits yeah i like that uh, yeah i would say fruits cheese as well okay. and some meats yeah a little mixture of all of them honestly bye all right you ready let's do this thing. <sighs> how many seconds give me 40 i'm gonna need it I just got to twist this cork off and then I'm good. Okay. On your count. Three, two, one, go. Okay. It's not going. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, so I got decoy. And it is... Yeah, we're good. Come on. Decoy. Decoy. It's a Cabernet Sauvignon from California. It is a... Uh, okay, that's a... Uh, 13.9. Okay, uh, come on. Let's go. I don't know how much time I have left. Probably not a lot. But let's go. Careful yeah. with the mixer. <laughs> oh, it tastes so rich. Oh, <laughs> unlucky, my guy. Unlucky. I thought I had like 10 more seconds. <laughs> All right. Uh, second sip thoughts. This is, uh, it's very nice. It's very rich in its flavor. It's got some fruit taste to it as well. So mm -hmm. you can taste some, tastes like blackberries with some cherries. Mm. I'm not sure though. Like I said, it's very uh, rich in its flavor. So it's got like a little bit of an aftertaste on your tongue. Um, this definitely feels like a mid to full body. 
just because of of how long it it sits in your in your taste buds damn yeah it's definitely uh it's sitting on my tongue a lot pause but it's it's good though it's not too harsh at all can barely taste it's a it's a perfect mixture between tasting the alcohol and it being watered down as well um so i like that 7.6 very nice yeah. not a bad score i like it I like decoy it. actually my friend morgan got me this for my birthday so shout out morgan and shout Thank out you. my boy ah, kobe here <laughs> baby thank you kobe 24 yeah, 24 yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh how do you feel being 24 now ready to keep on progressing ready to move I like keep it. moving honestly i felt like throughout the day that it was a busy ass day and i was just like i'm not gonna take off because it's my birthday like mm-hmm. it's another day you know what i mean yeah so it's just like another uh another reason to keep going Love that, love that. And, uh, did you uh, celebrate it all throughout the week? Oh yeah, um, got fucked up yesterday. You were there. Um. Oh yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> Glad yeah. you remember. Yeah, <laughs> I woke up though and I was like, "Where am I right now?" <laughs> but um, not. Nah, and then uh, had a nice family dinner too, so that was great. Mm-hmm. That's great. Great, uh, great vibes. Great vibes, yeah, all around. Yeah, great I like, start. I feel like this year, like, do you feel any um, different going into the year? Your age and like your mindset. Um, I feel like I'm really progressing towards the goals that I I want to attain. Uh huh. And the more like, like I said, the more I go out, the more I meet more people, it's a lot easier to do that. At first, like, towards the beginning of the year, I was, like, a little shy, like, to go places. And I still am. Yeah. But it's, like, now it's, like, I know to just go somewhere and just, you know, be myself, talk to people, get to know them. Yeah. And you never know what good comes out of it, so. Very true. Um, it's, it, like, that's where I'm at right now in my stage of what I want to do, like, where I want to get better. Mm-hmm. I like the sound of that. Yeah. Sounds like a healthy mindset to me. Just got to get to it every day. Love that. Yeah. Love that. Uh, I hope you guys take some uh, take some life lessons from him as well. Wise words from the man himself. Oh, Yeti. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Make sure to check him out in the link in the description. All his music down there below in his link tree. Go subscribe, please. And make sure to subscribe to his YouTube channel because he also has a YouTube channel. So Man, we do we do all we do is tremendous over here. Yeah. Yeah, we're all doing uh we're all doing it. All we do is tremendous. Yeah, what an intro. What an intro back then. It's life, man. All we do is tremendous. You know, you gotta get to it. But now all we doing is shots. <laughs> Cause we Fuck, lost. Bro, you know what? That's <laughs> like I wasn't even like I lost and everything. I'll 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 admit that. I totally forgot about the shots. Um, because it's uh it's birthday oriented, we are gonna do different types of shots. So in celebration of Jared, I actually haven't had this since my birthday. And um I think we had it maybe like a day after my birthday or something. Yeah, probably. Yeah. But um around that area been saving it you know only for special moments Damn. And this is a special moment for in celebration of uh jared even though this is not a fantastic moment because we lost it's okay it's a it's a clase azul a tequila 100 percent puro de agave azul um and it's from uh mexico i don't know if you guys can see it there you go. i feel like i've never had that before and the bottle is so elegante Elegante means elegant in Spanish, by the way. Thank you. Thank you for, uh, yeah, explaining that. For Jared's uh, Jared's school. And uh, one thing I learned that you could do, it's like a bell. Oh, shit. Yeah, you want to ring it? Yeah. You got to, like, 
tab it. So. Fuck the belt. I want to take shots. <laughs> Fuck this guy. <laughs> Dude, just. On this side. Oh, like he's running away. This side, this side. There we ah, go. There we ah. go. <laughs> Going super saiyan. <laughs> oh my god. All right, let's get this open. Same as mine. All right. Well, cheers Please to to a fantastic year in 24. Yes, sir. Let's get to it. Get to it. You can call the fire forest fire with that. That shit is some gasoline. Yeah. It's so good though. Jesus. Jesus. Wow. Oof. Okay. Well, we took the shots. <laughs> what do you think? It was not bad. It was good. It's a lot better than the fucking spiced rum, so I'm happy about that. It's just a little. Yeah, it's way better than the spiced rum. It hit like a little too much in the chest, but you know that's what. Yeah, it felt, does. it felt it more in the chest, yeah. huh? It's like boom. I was like, damn. Fuck. Mm. Makes me feel like I'm getting old now. Yeah. Fuck. Well, I'm glad that it was something different than the spiced rum. Yeah, I, I didn't. <laughs> that's all I'm happy about. I did about. not need the spiced rum. <laughs> I did not need that shit right now. On to our first question here for the wine talks. Um, is it a red flag when you treat a girl good for her first time? So she's been in relationships maybe, you know, at this point, right? Let's get some backstory in this question. You start opening the door, for example, for her. And she says something like, oh, wow. No one's ever hold, held the door for me before. Would you guys think that's a red flag? Like, wh what would you guys do? You know? Why is no one ever hold the door for you? That's but, my first question. I'd be like, oh, really? You know? That's weird. It's like, no. <laughs> like, uh, you get her flowers for the first time. Hmm. She's never gotten flowers. She says that to you. She's like, oh, I've never actually gotten flowers before. No one's ever done that for me. And then you're just like, hmm, no one? And how many boyfriends do you have? Like, what? And you're just like, yeah, you're the only one. So would that seem pretty, like, red flaggish in some sense because of uh, how, uh, you know, in your eyes, or in my eyes, for example, like, I see it as no one's ever treated her like that until me mm -hmm. how did she not have those standards a long time ago yeah. before of being treated like a princess or right do you know oh shit you kind of fucked my mind up a little bit with that one <laughs> that's how i think about it because i would want because i would teach my you know my daughter um like, I would take her out on dates and stuff like that. Like, this is how a man should treat you, if anything. You mm -hmm. know? Boom. Show her flowers. Take her out. Make sure she's taken care of. All this stuff. You know, I want my daughter to be known, like, what are the standards that I'm setting? You know, this is a, what a man should be doing in her life. And if she's not doing that, she ain't going to take him. You know? And I, I will feel more comfortable... And more um, kind of like uh, relieved when she finds like a man in her life. Like I know she's going to find the right one. That's all I think about it. I don't know what you guys think. <laughs> Is it a red flag if you treat a girl too good? Is it a red flag on her part or our part? Are you asking? Her part almost. Yeah. Yeah, you got to look at it like, why aren't you being treated like that? Mm -hmm. Like, there's something wrong with you if you're not being treated like that. Also, 
like I think of it like too like you want to be the person like do you really want to be the person that sets the standard mm. I think I was the person that set the standard in one of my relationships actually um, and it was a hard task mm-hmm. because she was crazy <laughs> oh my god so, yeah. crazy like she was wild so it's like fuck you the one that has to go through all that shit yeah that's a red that's a red flag yeah yeah definitely red flag yeah definitely red flag because they don't go through like if you're gonna be the person that has to like break their heart and shit like you don't want to be the one to break their heart Mm -mm. because she's gonna feel that shit Mm -hmm. and i don't know like the more you the more you treat her too good the more entitled she feels too Mm. if she's never been treated like that yeah i feel like because of how that like tell me if i'm wrong like if you were to be treated in some sense like different like that right Mm -hmm. i feel like some girls would take it in a good way but also there's some girls that might take it in and like oh like i don't really like this feeling Mm. of being treated good maybe yeah do you know what i mean they don't know how to handle it. Like, they don't know how to handle all that stuff. Yeah. And they like being treated, I guess, differently. Some girls like the toxicity. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, they could, you know. Or, I guess you'll just find out. But at the same time, it's like, damn. That's hard. But I do find it... um I do find it weird. Not weird, but I, I definitely find it where, you know, if a girl were to tell me that, it's like, damn. Like, what about? Like, what's stopping people from treating you like that? Like, why why didn't you set a standard for yourself, you know? like That could be, yeah, that could be it. Like, she doesn't have a high enough standard. Yeah. The way I think about it is, like, what did you do wrong to, like, make people not treat you like that? Yeah. So it just kind of fucks with me in the head. But at the same time, it's like I do want to focus on the relationship at hand and stuff like that with you and me and then figure it out. But also, like, ah, it just kind of makes me think differently, too, you know? Also, I I don't want to, like, overthink it, but, hey. Also, too, like, the girl could be, like, too easy for a lot of guys, and so she never gets that treatment. So that that's definitely a red Ooh, flag. That's right another there. one. Yeah. That's another one right there. Like if she's too easy and then everyone knows, like, all right, like, don't don't make her feel special type Dude, shit. Dude, <laughs> yeah. No, that's another point of view as well. Oh my god. Which is oh God. Oh God. Yeah, I think you're right with what you said initially. Like you have to set as a parent, you have to set those standards for her. Make her realize like she has to be special. Mm-hmm. Cause if she's if she doesn't feel like she's special, then she's gonna she's just gonna be easy for everyone else. But what about those people that don't have those parents to set the standard? You know, is it their fault? It's not their fault. They didn't get guidance for it. They didn't get guidance, you know. So, so I, I can't necessarily say it's her fault, but shit. If you watch enough movies, you'll learn. You know, natural selection too. Like, yeah. <laughs> natural selection what do you mean by that i just said yeah <laughs> it's like uh you're either one of the good ones or you're not you're not yeah either either pride yourself on who you are and give yourself that standard or you don't mm-hmm. in that situation so like natural selection if you don't have that guidance uh-huh. okay let's uh move on to the next one yeah definitely <laughs> Jared? All right, so on a scale of one to ten, uh-huh. how romantic would you want your girl to be around you? Um, me personally, I'm a pretty romantic guy. Mm-hmm. Like I'm a lover boy at heart. Yeah, lover boy podcast, motherfucker. And like most of the time, you know, I've always been in relationships and stuff like that, and uh, especially long ones. 
Um, and I think like in those relationships, I love like the, uh, the romance that, um, like I create and that they create as well between each other. Like it's just, uh, I think it just shows like a certain type of like affection mm. and it like really, um, I really like, you know, fall in love with that when they like really care about me in some sense in different ways you know for example like love letters bro like that that first came into my life where i was like wow someone took the time out of their day to write a love letter for me like that's crazy you know or like them like doing spontaneous things and like planning out stuff going for a hike just random stuff and just romanticizing like the whole uh aspect of um like how our dynamic of the relationship is and it's i don't know i like it i i think uh i would was that like your happiest moments like is that what you is that what you want in a relationship i definitely want you know like a lot of things and you know being romantic is one of my things that i like to do for myself and i would like it to be reciprocated Absolutely. you know and I, I i definitely have been pretty pretty direct when i don't get the reciprocation <laughs> like love me bitch like there has been a point in I think, one of my relationships where it was pretty toxic i think it was oh, uh the way i was so direct like it was my fault that i was direct like that you know but at the same time it was like it was their fault that they weren't romantic <laughs> yeah so you need that you need that romanticism and i told them straight up i was like Hey, listen, like, I've been doing a lot of things that, you know, this and that, but I feel like I've been giving a lot and you haven't been giving anything back to me, you know, reciprocating the same energy. And then um, I said that. And I said it in a way where it was like more just direct, you know? Like, love me, bitch. No, no, no. I think I said it the way I said it, but like, I, I said it like that. But also I added a little like a little hit where like, you know, my last girlfriend did all this. And that's where I was like, oh, oh nah, no, I should never said that. Oh, should that's worse that. than love me, bitch. <laughs> nah, dude. It was like I was literally I explained everything to you like how I did in the first part. Yeah. And then I added that. I was like, like in my last relationship because I was young, bro. I was like, yeah. bro, what was yeah. that? I was like 18, 19 at this point. Mm. You know, I was young and stupid. And it was like not the right way to go about it you know you'd rather communicate the way i did in the first part yeah and leave the second part out <laughs> now you're just comparing girls and it's just like no, no and no, it's no, not no. healthy for me or like <laughs> her. Definitely not healthy for her definitely not healthy so like definitely don't compare because every relationship is different and you just want to reciprocate the same energy that you're giving out that's all all right so two questions what's the number on a scale one to ten ten being very very uh clingy one being absolutely distant that you don't even know if they're dating you anymore um on a scale for clinginess or like what do you want out of like romanticism like on a scale of one to ten i would want probably 7.5 to an eight okay. around there and then did the girl, the next question is like, did the girl end up switching up or not? Nah? Did she stay the same? Oh, she switched up completely. She did? Okay. Yeah, she was super like, um, she was annoyed at first, but she was like, you're right. Uh, you have been doing a lot of things and I appreciate all of it. And I'm sorry I've been like, you know, lacking. And like, she understood the way I was trying to say it because I was, she's she's been with me for a while. Mm-hmm. So like. She wouldn't be with me because obviously I am direct sometimes and whatever. She but like that shit. but she uh, she appreciated it a lot and she actually changed for the better. It was really nice and I appreciated her her work to be a better version of herself and to also really be a better version for me. You know? Fire. So it was nice. Fire, fire, fire. Yeah. I think for me... Um 
I'm thinking the same. I want it to be like kind of mid, kind of, because I, I, I always respect a girl's grind if she's got shit to do. Mm -hmm. But if you're going to say like we're dating and like I'm this important to you, like I should still feel like I'm a priority in a sense, but like I don't want to make it seem like I'm forcing you to make me a priority type shit. Like I just want to feel important in a sense. Yeah. So it's like there's a there's a balance that I need, mm -hmm. but I definitely would say the same. Like, cause if if I like you and I'm only down for you, like I'll I'll think about you a lot. I'll be doing my shit, but I'll also make sure that you're good. Mm. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I'll be checking in up on you because like that's just I care for you like that. Mm -hmm. So I would say like I would want her to be like. Like a six point five to a seven point five in how romantic she is. Like I, I do like those special stuff, like out of the blue type shit. Yeah. It's like, oh shit, like you really thinking of me, like really? <laughs> you know what I mean? Um so like buying like one of my favorite snacks. Cheez Its. I love Cheez Its. Yeah. Cheez Its are goldfish. So it's like thinking of shit like it's like, oh, is he hungry? Like, let me do this for him. Like, um, just little things in life it's nothing major honestly it's just the little things like if you start understanding the little things that make me happy yeah and you start doing that mm -hmm. i don't need anything major mm -hmm. like you do what you gotta do i'll do what i gotta do and we can live mutually together do you like those things when uh when girls like you know that are really um like they've been hanging around you a bit and they start catching the things that you like oh, and then they, they don't tell you but like they like keep it in their the vault yeah and then they surprise you with something that you liked or you said something blah blah blah, and then yeah. boom it's there and it's like how do you remember that no nah, that's that's the best that it's means like, that, that surprise really, is like oh that means they're really um intuitive and they're really like actively listening to like what we do on a regular basis uh -huh. what i really like what I really like is when a girl starts picking up on like what I say and how I say things. Oh yeah. So like if I like if we're, like if we're hanging out and shit and she'll just be like, get to it, then I'm like, I say that shit. You know what I mean? Like I see you rubbing, I see myself rubbing off on you, mm -hmm. and it's like that's cool, cause like I'll I'll pick up on shit that they do too. Yeah. You know, cause it's like I feel like it's. It's almost like an indicator where you're into each other mm -hmm. and it's like you're almost down for each other only yeah um so if, if a girl really starts picking up on the stuff that i say then it's like all right we're dude it's so nice yeah it like it honestly makes me so turned on it's like oh yeah <laughs> it's like wow you do that for me like you were thinking about me yeah that yeah, way. no, that's the whole point is that they're thinking about you in that sense. It's like, that's awesome, you know? Yeah. And it was like a surprise, too, or something. That was just something random or cute. Ah, I always did that, too, with all my my uh, my girlfriends. Like, I'd always, like, do a mental reminder of, like, what they liked or something random in the store. Yeah. I think what I have to do a better job of is, like, realizing when they're a little down like am i doing my part like am i pulling my weight in yeah that sense? like am i am i thinking about them as much as i feel like i am uh -huh. or do i need to do more yeah that's true so i feel like that's something that i personally need to look at more on a external uh perspective mm -hmm. especially now that i'm not dating anyone like i feel like i can really like um analyze if i'm doing that enough with the girls that i meet and the girls that i like want to be with yeah i get that because sometimes you get too comfortable with them that exactly. you don't really notice exactly and then you forget or a little bit mm -hmm. or, or you're just too used to it and then complacent yeah it's just like everything in life when you get too complacent then it's just like you you get into this space of not knowing what to do next or yeah you know what i mean that's very true um and uh you know speaking of complacency 
you know, you're you're in for the long run in mm-hmm. a relationship. Um, what would you do if your partner starts uh, starts losing? <sighs> no, no, no. What would you do if your partner starts losing the their attractiveness? <laughs> what would you do if they just start declining in their attractiveness? You got to think deep <laughs> and know that they're a great person at heart. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I don't know. It happens every relationship. It happens every relationship. So it's like that I've been in at least like, oh, my God. It's just like a couple times like during the day, I'll be like, damn, you look a little weird today. <laughs> I don't know. I I think honestly, I just have to really buckle down and just accept that I'm in this right now. If especially if I'm trying to play the long game too, like, oh god. And most of my relationships have only been like a year long, and if they're already starting to look like less attractive to me at that point, then it's like, fuck. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to go I'm trying to play the long game with you. <laughs> fuck. You just really have to dig deep into like who they are as a person and look at their personality, what they do that makes you happy, um, what you see in them that you can almost help grow in a sense. Like, I don't, I don't know. I want to know why they start looking less attractive. Because you see them all the time, maybe. And then you start seeing uh, cracks a little bit here and there. Yeah, could be. It's like you be, you saw them at their best at first, you know. Yeah. Makeup, everything, blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. So, it's a deception, I guess, in some sense. I don't know, man. For me, I think um, I would, if I really love them, and they start decreasing in their attractiveness, I think I would stay with them like babe look better (laughs) see like i wouldn't even i wouldn't even fall in that trap of that question to be honest because i'm gonna find a beautiful woman that looks fantastic without makeup and with makeup you know what i'm saying that sounds great and all you can and i know you will but at some point there's gonna be A time where you might wake up and you look at her and you're like, damn, the fuck happened to you? Like, I need. I don't know. I I thought you were bad as fuck. Like, I thought I need to go out more or something. (laughs) Nah, I I think like like there there would be there would be there would be like cracks. Yes, it has happened to me before, but like there would be like different moments. Where, yeah, you could obviously see it in a sense, like, oh, ha, you're not looking that great today. It's all right. You know? What happened? It's going gonna, it's all, it's gonna to be all right. Next day, you'll look better, maybe. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> but, uh, honestly, <laughs> I would I would just kind of, like, let it be in, you know, always Accept give, it. you know, make them eat healthy with me. Always try to do a lot of good skincare, you know, help live a healthy lifestyle. Just do everything that you do yourself and like babe, let's let's go eat a salad really quick, you know? That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna watch you eat that salad. <laughs> oh my god. But I would, I would definitely, because at that point, you know, I've been in that relationship for a long time to see those cracks and stuff like that. So yeah. she's been the one at that point. I think, too, uh, like, being for real, though, like, you have to realize, like, I your, your eyes can be deceiving, too. Yeah. So, like, when you notice all those cracks and everything and you're in the honeymoon stage and it doesn't affect you. And then, like, somehow you're out of the honeymoon stage and you start seeing those shit. Like, you have to realize, like, 
your mind is very deceptive. One hundred percent. So you could be wanting something more, something looking better, but at the same time, you just got to be like, nah, this is what it is. You're beautiful, babe. Like you, you are it. Like you're the one, no matter what. But shit, sometimes they just start falling off the trail, tra- the train tracks. So could go either way. Could go either way. Could go either way. Could go your way as well, where you start falling off the tracks. But I know I ain't going to let that happen 100%. What do you do if she does start falling off the tracks, though? If I do? If I start falling off? No, if they start falling off the tracks, like, how do you address that? Of what? Like, in a sense, like, uh, could be weight, could be attractiveness. Like, whatever you find, like, like what, um, what keeps you so attracted to her? And she starts like doing that less. Probably her dedication to being healthy in every way. So it'd be like, babe, let's go eat a salad. It would be like, <laughs> it'd be like, I, I uh, eat healthy and I do everything healthy. So, why not you do the same as well? But I'm not going to tell her that. I'm just thinking about it in my mind right now. And then I'm going to bring it up like, like, babe, uh, I feel like I, I should start eating healthy and stuff. Like, Can you join me on my journey and stuff? You know? Okay, all right, I like that. You know? <laughs> like Something like that. I eat healthy. I really appreciate the support. <laughs> he said, I eat healthy. Why don't you? <laughs> That's different. I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> like, come on. Why don't you? Do you not see me? Do you not see me? <laughs> Every day. <laughs> oh, my God. No, if a girl started falling off the tracks. There's a certain limit that she gets to. Um like for one, if she starts getting a little bigger than I would like, not talking like pregnancy or anything, like that's natural. But like if yeah, natural, yeah. 100%. If she starts getting complacent with her fitness and everything like that, then it's like, what are we doing here? Like, what are you, you you don't go to the gym anymore? Mm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, let's go to the gym. Let's like put in those hours. Yeah. Let's make ourselves better. Yeah. Not. Sit around on the couch and eat potato chips all day type shit. Like, let's go to the gym, be active and proactive. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's eat a salad. I don't eat salads, but I'll watch you eat a salad. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, we'll end it up there. <laughs> please, please, please. <laughs> we'll end it up there. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to check out the event on the 19th. And the 26th, the link in the description on the website there. And it's $20 at the door. Yeah. Make sure to go. And please, we really appreciate it. It is sponsored by the Wine Cellar Group. And it will be at the table and gallery mm-hmm. on the Chapel oh, Street. 1209 Chapel. 20, 1209 one two o nine chapel street yes new haven exactly and um it will be from five to seven so you guys got to see us in person first event first event live in person and it would be fantastic to see you guys there Come on. and we really appreciate it so we'll see you in a bit have a good one make sure to like come subscribe for those that aren't subscribed and like share do all that see you in a bit peace <laughs> If I told you what I want